Here is one of my favorite things in the world, canned sardines. You might be thinking, fish in a can, yes, but we are gonna change your mind because this is one of the most simple, delicious dishes that you'll find anywhere, and anybody can do it at home. Food on the table within minutes, and we're having a party. Aloha, everyone. Chef Sheldon Simeon here in my beautiful home in Wailuku, Maui, Hawaii. I am gonna be showing you one of my favorite dishes today, and that's the sardines poo-poo from my brand new cookbook, Cook Real Hawaii. Poo-poo is kind of generalized terms for appetizers or small plates that you share during a meal or in the beginning of a meal here in Hawaii. And make sure you subscribe below. I'm gonna show you two more other dishes, the pancit and some blister shishito peppers a little bit later. Let's get started. I'm gonna make one of my favorite condiments and that's lemon olive oil. Here I have some extra virgin olive oil. It's about two cups. I'm gonna warm that up. And then I'm just gonna take the peeler and get the zest off of the lemons, being careful not to get any of the bitter white part. I'm gonna do about four lemons. I'm gonna put all of this zest, push that down. I'm gonna bring that up just for a few minutes and then I'm gonna turn off the fire. We're gonna let that sit for a few hours and at the end we'll strain it out and you got this beautiful perfumey, citrusy, bright lemon olive oil. Lemon oil, I end up drizzling on everything. It gives that little zesty note and a little bit of luxuriousness on top of the mouthfeel. Chili pepper water. This is the spicy condiment that's in everyone's household all across Hawaii. It's a beautiful little spice and a kick to any meal. Every single family in Hawaii has their own type of way to make chili pepper water. So I'm gonna make our version the way that we make it in the Simeon household. So I'm just gonna start with some warm water. To that, I'm gonna add some pakai or some Hawaiian sea salt, a couple cloves of garlic. And I'm gonna smash, roughly chop. I'm gonna add my Hawaiian chili peppers. I'm gonna cut some just to make it a touch more spicier. The heat level on Hawaiian chilies is the same about, I would say like habaneros. So a little goes a long way. Got a few bay leaves, some apple cider vinegar, show you soy sauce, and finally a little bit of patis or fish sauce. Just stir. Put a lid on it. We'll let this sit overnight up to a few weeks and get down, drizzle it on everything. These are some beautiful skin on sardines packed in extra virgin olive oil. Sometimes I like to get the ones that are smoked for some extra flavor. But get your stuff from a, from a good source. I grew up eating sardines or canned goods nonetheless. My dad always said, you can make something to eat. There's so much canned goods in the cupboard. But we had to get creative. And this is one of the dishes that we ate growing up. I'm gonna start off by slicing some onions, super, super thin. Here in Maui, we're lucky to have some of the most sweetest onions in the world because of our volcanic soil and great weather year round. So I simply took the ends off. Now I'm gonna cut this as thin as possible. Take your time, using your finger as a guide. We're gonna place that in some ice water. It's gonna get all of the sweetness out of the onion. You could also rinse this underwater and kind of wash it like rice. So we're gonna let that sit for just a second while I cry. <laughs> These onions are supposed to be sweet. I'm just gonna slice some garlic, super thin, and that's gonna perfume our oil and make our sardines nice and fragrant. All right, I'm gonna put a sardines out of the can. I'm trying to just be careful not to break them, but if you break them, they're still gonna be delicious. So I've got my sardines out of the cans and I'm gonna reserve all of this beautiful oil that is in the can and that has a lot of flavor and that's gonna start off inside of the pan. I'm gonna turn this fire on. We'll get that oil in there, just enough to cover the bottom. I'm gonna add my garlic and I'm gonna sprinkle in a little bit of kochukaru, which is Korean pepper flakes. So I've got the garlic and the pepper flakes in the oil. It's gonna start bubbling because there is a little bit of water that's uh, residual that comes off of the fish. We got a little bit of color on top of the garlic. I'm gonna add our sardines in there. And all we're trying to do is warm this through. It's gonna soak up all of that garlic flavored oil now. Once the fish is warm, I'm gonna deglaze with just a touch of shoyu and a little bit of apple cider vinegar. 
Take some of that sauce, kind of pour it over the fish, get it nice and glazed. We've had these onions now soaking for about five minutes, but you can see that they're almost translucent in color. I'm just gonna let this drain on this pan here that is lined with a towel. They're almost ribbon-like. Sardines are done. The onions have been drained. We're gonna plate this up. Can't believe how quick it is that you can get something so delicious. Canned fish, guys. Who knew? This is one of those dishes that somebody comes over unexpected and we need something to eat quick. This is the dish that I'm gonna make. So I love the pungent flavor of the sardines. We flavored that oil with the Korean pepper and garlic, so that's gonna soak all of that up. And then we're gonna get the crunch from the onions and then uh, a little tartness from the apple cider vinegar. I'm gonna season it right now just with a touch of pepper. We're gonna top it off with those beautiful onions. A nice little pile. We're gonna finish drizzling it with our chili pepper water. Just for a little spunk, lemon olive oil. I'm gonna finish off with just a touch of cracked pepper. Sardin poo poos, get your chopsticks out. Crack a beer, we eating. Takes me right back. Spicy from the chili pepper water. A little bit kick from the vinegar. Those onions are so sweet from soaking in the ice water. This is a dish that you can't mess up. There you have it, my favorite, sardine poo-poos. Let us know in the comments how your sardine poo-poos go. And don't forget to like and subscribe right down below. I've got two more dishes, pancit and shishito peppers coming right at you. I might really have to crack a beer. Even though it's nine o'clock in the morning.